Hello everyone and welcome to Zappy Productions and today I'll be reviewing this tripod here. This is the PhotoPro X Aircross 3 and you can see in some of the outdoor videos I will show you this tripod outdoors and deployed and really how does it work there. But you can see on the table now this is the PhotoPro X Aircross 3 and you can see it's mounted with my Hasselblad. In fact if you look at the outdoor video it's the same thing it's mounted with my Hasselblad camera itself. This tripod well it is ultra light and really suitable for smaller cameras like this has a black here or maybe something like the Sony series of cameras. I don't think this tripod is meant for like video, big video cameras or very very heavy burning equipment. But if you are a traveler, especially urban traveler, I think this is a fantastic piece of equipment. Now before I start like the tank, class distribution for providing me this tripod to review here. They are the local distributor in Singapore for PhotoPro and uh, they provided me this tripod to just test out and show you guys how it works and why I think this is such a good thing. I really mean this is a good stuff. Uh, even though they provided me, they didn't really say what I need to do with the tripod. They just say do whatever I want with it. And I can tell you that if you are looking for a carbon fiber tripod, this is really one of the best options if you are wanting something really for light traveling. So without wasting time, let's talk about this tripod here, right? You can see now it's mounted with my has a black camera here. It is very stable. I mean, the, my table is not stable, but the tripod is quite stable. Now, based on its specification, it holds up to 10 kg. And let's see, this is the box that it comes with. And on the box, it writes there, it goes to something like 1.5 meters and folds down to 36.5 cm. Now let's take a look at its folded state. You can see in this video here, you can see a measuring tape is 36.5 cm. This makes it one of the smallest lighter tripod. However, unfolded at 1.5 meters, this is also one of the tallest you can get for a mini tripod of its size. Just to put it in context, a Gizzo Traveler goes to about 1.4 meter if you're taking the four section version. So, you know, this is actually I would say it's taller, yet folded shorter because the Gitzel goes to about 40 something cm. This is really, very really short. Just to put into perspective how small this tripod is when folded, you can take a look at this video here. Um, well, comparison to my Manfrotto, it doesn't even, uh, I will say it's shorter than even the Manfrotto legs itself, I mean. Really, really, really short, yet it goes up to 1.5 meters, which is very comfortable for the purpose of tripod shooting. Now this tripod is also really light, not only is it small, it's ultra light, this is 0 0.94 kg or 940 grams or s I think like 1.8 pound or something around there. I mean the direct conversion, I can put it down below here. Makes it one of the lightest tripod you can get. In fact, the Gitzel Trevor weighs 30 to 50% more depending on which version. Yet. Being light, it holds up to 10 kgs. I have tried to put something really heavy. You can take a look at this uh, short little photo video here. I mounted my whole DJI Ronin on it. And you can see this is a quite a big video camera. It weighs something like 5-6 kg. It holds, but I will say as the head, the ball head itself isn't really meant for such heavy equipment. Uh, the tripod is very stable, I'm just afraid of the ball head and the uh, quick release plate which doesn't feel secure enough for very heavy equipment but more than enough for something like this which weighs below a kg. In fact, most of your cameras will probably weigh more than the tripod. That's the impressive part. Now when it comes to the ball head, right, this is quite a simple ball head. You can see from its design here, a uh, very simple one. You know, nothing too special about it. it clamps down. It is a standard dovetail clamp, and you can actually, you know, use the or say as quick release plate that comes with the tripod or any form of Aka Swiss or dovetail type of release plate, and it will fit nicely onto this ball head itself. One of the nice things of this ball head is that it has a built-in panning clamp. You can see here. So let me show you. You can see a bubble level. So once you level this whole ball head out, lock it up and then you can release it and then you can pan your camera. By having this panning clamp, you can now do panels or any form of multi-shot across a horizon line without the need to readjust every time. Or maybe you know you have to level the whole tripod instead of the ball head, which is a lot easier. It's a lot easier to you know, level this plate here than the entire tripod. This is very useful 
for a lot of reasons. And normally, a panning clamp like this have to be purchased separately. But for this particular tripod, it is even more important. And let me show you why. The specialty of this tripod. Now, this tripod now is in the folded state, right? To unfold it, it is twist. Make sure it's twist all the way and you cannot twist anymore. Extend and twist back. And then you can see the legs are extended. You can also do it halfway, like so. And you can do it quickly for any legs you want, just like, like that. Uh, something like that. And then you've got an extended legs of about this height. Really, really fast, don't you notice? I mean, it takes a bit of practice. If once you know how to do it, it is extremely quick. And it falls back. In fact, let me show you outdoors where I deploy it. It's ultra quick. I mean, this is probably the fastest release for a leg. Other than one of the very expensive uh, video tripods which have a clamp system that is even easier. But if not, this is probably the fastest way to extend a leg. At least from the tripod I use. Compared to twist lock, clip locks, this is way faster. There is, however, one weakness to it. And no, in fact, two weaknesses to it. First, you have to touch the base here. This base here, well, a tripod is meant to sit on the ground. So obviously, the leg, the base of the leg especially, is going to be dirty. And to really use it, you have to hold the base of the leg and twist. So uh, I don't know, some people will complain that their hands will get dirty. For me, I feel that this is for urban travellers, really. And if you're doing urban, I think this is a small problem. You won't get your hands really dirty. But if you're going to rush into the mountains and forests and you're going to carry this along, well, wear some gloves or bring some wipes to just wipe the leg off. And twisting this and stuff, don't get so disgusting. The second thing I feel that is a weakness of this tripod is also the way it's adjusted. So normally how you adjust, or should I say level a tripod, is that you will clip. Let me show you with a standard one. This is my Manfrotto tripod, right? So let's say if I want to be slightly taller, I can do one leg at a time. And then the last leg, I can look at the bubble level and then I level out. So now it's a bit still tilted, I'll just, you know, adjust it and I get a level leg. That is easy if you got a clip lock or a screw lock in the case of this Manfrotto here. But with a tripod like this, it's a bit more complicated. I mean, the only way to unlock the legs is to twist below and extend, right? So it is not really convenient. I mean, now I'm, I'm on the table, I mean, it's quite straightforward. But imagine out in the field, if you want to extend it to about more, more than a meter, I mean, it's not that trivial to do this and you're going to have to squat down level and it's quite a troublesome process. But because this tripod has a nice, I'll say, let me lower this tripod first before I show you. But because this tripod has a nice ball head that has a proper, you know, uh, I would say a swiveling release plate, a rotating swi release plate, you can actually level with the ball head. So you can roughly level with the legs, really, really roughly. And then use the top bubble level here, level the head. After that, you can just do a panels and whatever, just by you know, turning this head here as such. Let me show you. But if not, I think this tripod is fantastic, right? You can really see why. Ultra light, extends really quickly, and I mean, this is where I think it requires a bit of practice. Right, extends really, really long. I mean, look at this. This is really long extension. Keeps really quickly as well. Has a decent, nice head, and pretty much very light and compact. 0 0.94 kg, and only 36.5 cm. And as I said again, this is quite stable. So a little bit on the ball head. Now this is of course not the smoothest ball head around, you can see here, right? But it does hold the camera weight quite well. So if I was to tilt the camera like that, it doesn't droop. And you see that I don't really take much effort. I mean, this, like this. I don't really take much effort to lock. It does lock really, really tightly. I mean, let me slot down to... Okay, wait, I didn't tighten this tight enough. Lucky me, it didn't drop. So let's see here. Now it's rotating because it's not locked. So this 
release plate does have some uh, you know, pins here to just prevent it from sliding out like you can see you know in fact you can't slide it out so this prevents you know from sliding out if you accidentally unlock it a little bit but you know you should not be doing that anyway so once you lock down it is tight and as I said it does hold up very nicely to most angles even on the camera like this. Now this is the 90 millimeter lens with the Hasselblad X2D here it weighs about maybe 1.3, 1.2 kg. Not the lightest setup, not the heaviest either, but you can see that it holds very, very nicely. So this ball head is pretty much good enough for most travelers out there. So ready, one of the lightest tripod, does extend really high and a relatively good ball head. I won't say not the smoothest, definitely not the smoothest, but good enough for what it's supposed to do. And most importantly, it's the price. In Singapore, it's less than 400 Sing dollars. The exact price does change, so you know, check out your local retailers. Class Distribution is the distributor. You can check out various camera stores that hold Photo Pro uh, tripods. You can get a price there, like SR Revolution. Compared to a Gizzo tripod, this is literally half the price. So, you know, this is very good value if you ask me. Now, the good thing and the bad thing is the unlocking mechanism. It is very fast, very quick, and just a single turn, you can unlock the entire legs. The bad thing is you need to touch the feet, and then it's not that easy to level. But then again, at least, at least, Photo Pro thought about it and gave you a panning clamp. So I guess some of the problems are mitigated. The only thing is touching the feet. I mean, you can be very careful like this. Uh, I don't know how many of us will actually do it this way. For me, I'll just hold it this way and just turn it out. Overall, this is a great tripod and I highly recommend if you are looking for a carbon fiber tripod that is lightweight for traveling, especially if you are doing urban travels. Fantastic piece of equipment great for urban landscapes and any form of photography that benefits from mounting on the tripod itself and I definitely think you will enjoy a smaller size and weight and ability to cram with your other like stands. That's why for today, I hope you enjoyed this short little review and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.